There are certain sounds that actually make people sick, nauseous, dizzy, not feeling well because of a sound. And the question is, why would this be? I mean, uh, there are, I, I, I haven't experienced it personally, but there are stories about people becoming sick by maybe vibrations caused uh, by low frequency sounds from wind turbines or, mm -hmm. or some kind of EMF. It's, it's pretty interesting how that happens. Have you ever felt sick by a sound? Uh, when I was younger, I would definitely be grossed out by by certain sounds and stuff. Like like if you if you see someone throwing okay, up in a let's say not a suggestive sound where you you know maybe like a barfing sound. Right. I mean that's that's the closest or thing. But other than that, it's the sound of water making you want to urinate. Not something that suggests anything. But right. let's just say a sound in general making you feel sick. Did you know that actually haunted houses uh, use a very low frequency sound to make visitors feel uneasy? I, I have I have heard about that, and I think that's rather brilliant. And it's just it, it it's amazing, like actually how not necessarily delicate, but sensitive our bodies are to different stimuli. Our bodies are very sensitive. I mean, we don't think about it, but you know, think about your eyeballs. They're just full of liquid, and your lungs are just gas-filled membranes. And yeah. there's so many different organs inside of your uh, your stomach that are just you know they're full of this kind of liquid, or they're full of this kind of gas, or they're full of this kind of solid. We are just really we're gross. We're gross bags of really gross shit sometimes. <laughs> it's 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 pretty gross, and we can be affected by things, uh, particularly sounds, particularly vibrations coming from sounds. Right. So sound is measured in hertz. So if you want um, to talk about low frequency sound and infrasound, it would be under twenty hertz. Uh, if you want to talk about ultrasound. Uh, ultrasonic sounds that would be above 20 kilohertz and then most everything else is a normal sound range for us but then some studies have shown that high in high intensity versions of these sounds uh, particularly uh, low frequency sounds can cause uh, nausea headaches dizziness um, and uh, many people uh, many studies have posited that this is because in these sounds these low frequency sounds um, have a very long wavelength that would be able to be much more capable of bending around or penetrating your body, uh, creating a pressure system uh, when they vibrate. And we all we all have a natural resonance level. That that's what it is. Our own level of vibration. And when things don't match it, we don't feel good. And that seems pretty natural. I, I was I would really like this technology to be developed for armed conflict. Oh, like oh, I feel sick. I can't put, fight. Put the guns away. Just just use sonic vibrations that you know make the other side crap themselves. Well, okay. The, I don't think the brown noise is a thing that exists. It can happen. I think it was misbusted for real. I don't know. <laughs> Fine, make them all sick. Make I'm them not, too sick to I'm fight back. I'm not talking about the brown noise, but I am <laughs> talking about not feeling well or maybe yeah, yeah. throwing up, which is yeah. debilitating in its own way. Absolutely. Um, so one study in the 1983 uh, published in the Journal of Acoustical Society found that exposure to vertical vibrations in the 5 to 10 hertz, very low, uh, generally cause resonance in the, th 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 the thoracic abdominal system at 20 to 30 hertz in the head, neck, shoulder system, 60 to 90 hertz in the eyeball. So um, according to that study, uh, the energy would be absorbed by the tissues, the organs in the body, and there would be contractions of muscles, sometimes voluntary, sometimes not voluntary, which could lead to fatigue, um, and that could cause reflex contractions, which uh, will reduce motor performance capabilities and cause general sluggishness and barfiness. They just stay away from sound stuff. Well, we talked about this <laughs> actually last week in our Halloween episode of okay. why people think ghosts exist. And um, I said that there are certain areas where there are low frequency sounds that are causing vibrations that might not be I have observed as easily. And when you feel uneasy or sick, it might be because of something completely naturally occurring or, you know, or man-made uh, nearby causing that, not something paranormal. Right. There you go. More, the more you know. So, audience, <laughs> have you ever felt sick and did for something you just could not understand or perceive why when you were maybe in a certain location? This was probably it. Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.